Alright Ed, so you did a great job with your first how-to video basically. Now you're starting to get your pivot a lot better, you're rotating around your spine, you're doing all that good stuff. So let's go into kind of what I'm focusing on the down the line view. So the first point of interest that we're trying to work on is I want you to be standing up a little bit taller at a dress. Now when you do that, you're going to feel like you can't get to the golf ball. So there's one or two things that you're going to have to do. I'd say the first thing is, once you start standing up a little bit taller, you might need to stand a little closer to the golf ball as well as you might need to get a little bit more knee flex. So those would be the two things I, I would put uh, into action for your uh, for the first point, standing a little bit taller. Now the second point we got into was shallowing out the shaft. So again, in transition, we were seeing that your shaft was getting a little steep like such, and then you were doing something with your lower body to get this shaft back to the original shaft line. So to shallow out the shaft, there's, there's two ways and two feels I want you to do. The first way is, pretty simple I'm gonna have you swing up the top and you're just gonna physically feel like you're doing with the right elbow and the wrist that you're getting the shaft to lay down a little bit like that so that would be the first way that's kind of um, that's putting on a torque of the club with your with your uh, elbows and your wrists and forearms that's one way to do it now there's another way to do it called natural shallowing of the shaft so let me kind of explain what that one this one's a little bit more uh, I'd say a little bit more in depth and a little bit more difficult to comprehend, but it is an easier way, I believe, in general, to shell out the shaft. So, as we get up to the top of the swing, the first part of this natural shelling motion, we need to have this left knee working like such. Now, when you do that, that's going to make the upper body want to rotate as well. Now, when we do that, and we don't pull down on the club or we don't feel like we have a lot of pressure in the wrists and the forearms, this is kind of what happens. When that left knee goes like that and we rotate, notice how that lays down the shaft by itself. So that would be the second way, that's called more natural shallowing. So I would try both and see which one works for you. I know a lot of people have success with the first way, a lot of people have success with the second way, so it's kind of up to you. Uh, while you're doing right, that, so the last point of interest we went into was kind of how uh, I talked about right bend. So let's go over that real quick. So right bend, simply put, if you're standing straight up and down and you bend up from the upper body, like such, that's right bend. Now a lot of you players that I see, when you get steep in transition, there's two ways that you shallow shaft. You either go into right bend quite a bit like such, and the club starts swinging pretty far to the left, or you got players that go into right it bend really early, like such, more like that, and then gets the swing direction out to the right. So you're the you're the first one. So I would say once we start shallowing out the shaft and we get it looking a little bit more parallel to that original shaft line at that one point I was talking about, now we're gonna have to do something a little bit more different with the body through impact. So as we're coming down into impact, everything's rotating, our hips are opening, chest is rotating. Now from here, you're pretty good. You're usually right in this position right here that I like. Now once we get here, let's go on this angle right here. Once we get into this angle at the last part at impact, now I like to see the left shoulder going up and to the left, like such. And you're gonna see this pelvis pushing forward like such. So I'll show you the face on view. So as you're getting down into impact, after impact, you're feeling like this left shoulder is starting to level out while the pelvis is kicking forward like such, and your sternum's gonna go a little bit further back than your pelvis. That's called extending up through the impact zone. It's really good, uh, it's really good. It'll help you get a little bit more height on your shots. It's also gonna allow you to get a little bit more speed, and as well, it kind of helps with lower back pain. A lot of players I see, like the, your DJs and stuff like that, when they stay in this right bend forever, which would look like this, they start getting some pain in the lower back and over time they build up an injury and it could actually end their whole golfing career. So that's why I like to see you extend up a little bit. So let's go on the face on view again and show you what that looks like. So again, we're coming down into impact. Once we get into impact, we're feeling like our shoulders are gonna start leveling out like such and then our pelvis is kicking forward so again we're right here leveling out and kicking forward so again that's a good matchup for when you shallow out the shaft and you're parallel at that one point so they all kind of have to go together that's why i usually have to give you two to three things per lesson because if i only give you one 
you're gonna hit the ball like crap and you're not gonna want to do it so that would be uh, the last point of interest. Now let's kind of go into how we're going to So now let's talk it. about how we're going to start implementing in some of the swing changes. So I don't believe you're really going to need to worry too much about the standing taller par and how to implement that. I think that's pretty straightforward. So we're going to skip straight into the shallow with the shaft. So there's a couple drills I like to do with most of my players uh, that kind of gets them the idea around it. So the first one we're going to go over is called the lasso drill. So when you swing up to the top of the swing, we're going to stop. And then we're gonna start getting this little lasso feel right, like such. So again, when you're doing this, I want your grip pressure, you can have a tight grip pressure, but I want the wrist to be loose, right? So again, we're gonna get up to the top of the swing, we're gonna start this little lasso motion, getting that feel, and once the club head is dropping down like such, then we go and we swing and hit the golf ball. So this is a great little action, it kinda gives you the feel of how to shallow out the shaft. So I'll show you a little example of how it's supposed to look. So again, we're going to swing up to the top. We're going to get this little lasso drill going. And then right when it comes down, at this point, we're going to come down and hit the golf ball. So. It's going to look like that. So I would recommend doing, a, maybe starting out a slower speed. So let me kind of show you an example of what I mean. Do some swings where you kind of go about probably about 25% speed, so it's going to look like this. Hit like three of those shots, film maybe one of them, see if you're doing kind of the shallow motion that I want. Again, the checkpoint is once the hands for you get down to right about here, I want that club shaft parallel to that original shaft line. Now, if you see yourself doing that, speed it up and keep on going and keep on going. So that's the first drill. Now, an easy second drill to kind of get the feel of this is I want you to get about three to four golf clubs or something just kind of heavy so you can kind of get the feel. I want you to start swinging up to the top. You can split hand grip it if you want. Get up to the top to swing and I want you to feel the weight of the clubs dropping the club like such. Now while you're doing that, try not to get the hands, I don't want the hands to be dropping this way while it does it, and I don't want them to be dropping too far out. They're going to feel like they're dropping pretty much vertically down while the weight of the club is pulling the club head like such. So that's kind of the feel of shelling out the club and that's going to that's gonna be how it looks and kind of feels. So that's a great little drill to get the feel. Now the last drill that I like to do with my players is I'll have them set it up and I do I call it like a two-part freeze. So you're gonna you're gonna stop at certain parts of the swings and then you're gonna hit one. So it kind of looks like this. So the first part, swing up to the top and stop. Second part, you're gonna swing down to the last parallel. Again, last parallel is when the hands are level the hips and stop. Now when you get down to this checkpoint. Your shoulder should be square, the ball target line, which is where the golf ball or the club face is pointing at set up. Your hips are gonna be slightly open if you wanna get technical, right around anywhere from 15 to 30 degrees. And this club shaft is gonna be at a 45 degree angle to the ball target line. So it's not gonna be like this, it's not gonna be like this, it's gonna be right at a nice 45. So an easy way to kind of tell some of these numbers, get a couple golf clubs, maybe get a shaft or something like that. Put them down on the ground. So this club right here represents the ball target line. This one's going to be the toe line or heel line. I like to do heel line. So let's get these two matching up. So I just went up to the top and stop. Let's get down to the last parallel. I'm going to check to see if my shoulder line is square to that one. My hips are slightly open. And my club is at a nice little 45 degree angle to the ball target line. Once I hit those checkpoints, go ahead and make a swing. So that's going to get you used to kind of the more of the natural shallowing that we talked about. So the reason why we do stop and goes is basically just to give yourself enough time to get into the correct positions and make sure you're doing it correctly. When you film yourself down the line, you're still looking for, <laughs> looking to see that the shallow. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.